Hi. Whew, if I look hot and sweaty, it's because I am. I just got into my car after going to the doctor to get some antibiotics because I have a perforated eardrum. What fun. And it's really warm outside and I lose my breath walking at the moment because of a back injury. So that's fun. Anyway, I decided like, I haven't vlogged in a while. I keep telling Laura I will vlog. I'm gonna vlog, welcome to a vlog. I'm leaning into that sweet, sweet air conditioning. It's only like a couple minutes drive home. Let me get home. Right, so I am in my kitchen. My name bending over my kitchen bench and there's my grocery haul behind me, which I'm about to show you. Um, I have hurt my back. If you watched my vlogs like years back, like at least a year and a half to two years ago, I would go and get remedial massages and cupping done um, because, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I have hay fever and I'm coughing and sneezing. It's not the Marina. <laughs> We're going to get remedial massages because my, um, I have tendonitis in both wrists, worse than my right. And um, it in fact impacts my, like, I guess skeletal health or like muscular health. Musculoskeletal? I'm pretty sure that's what you call it. Why do I care? I said I did ask all day at work. And I said I did ask pretty much all day at home because I run a online business and I am a gamer <laughs> and I'm in a long distance relationship and have been for <laughs> well over a year now where my other half lives in America and the only way we can hang out is sitting and playing video games. So I spend a lot of time in a computer chair. Because of that, my back is like shot. Um, it's okay when I maintain it with regular remedial massages and that stretches the muscles and gets them moving where they should and I try and up my activity level. However, I let it get to breaking point. It had been a good year between remedial massages. My massage therapist Charmaine was amazing, but um, was on <coughs> leave for various reasons, um, including maternity leave. She's only just come back, but um, it's very hard to get appointments with her and I'm just like in pain. So something had to give. I ended up getting so bad I had to have time off work. Um, and yeah, so now I have a new massage therapist. His name is Ramon, he's amazing. If you live on the north side of Brisbane, um, it is the, uh, the um, my God, English. The clinic is called Primal Remedies, um, based at Kalanga on the north side of Brisbane. And Ramon is awesome. His wife and him um, are the massage team there and he is great. He gets all my sore spots and niggles them out without being unnecessarily painful. So yeah, I've only had two sessions. I'm feeling remarkably better. <coughs> but after I spent a lot of time on my feet, like I just did going to the GP and then getting groceries and going to the pharmacy, um, my back aches <laughs> really badly. So anyway. Um, I have a haul for you because I like haul. I mean, I guess I'll include this amoxicillin. I have a ruptured left eardrum, which is really badly infected and was bleeding through the night. So antibiotics. And while I was at the chemist, I grabbed a couple of things of these face wipes. I know nothing about the brand, but they were $2 a pack. And sometimes I'm too lazy, lazy to take off my makeup because funny, uh, like, you know, believe it or not, I do actually wear makeup most days at work. Um, groceries. Okay, so first thing first, I am trying to just big batch cook for the most part um, to minimize my time in the kitchen because I'm lazy because I'm only cooking for me, right? I love cooking. I'm a good cook. I don't want to do all that effort for just me. I've got two kilos of mints. This is like $11 a kilo right now. What the effing heck? So I got two kilos of mince because I'm going to do two mince dishes. And then when I bought these, I realized I'm pretty much just having like beef all week. At some stage, I'm going to go get some chicken out of my freezer to mix things up. But um, one of these packets, I'm going to do a big batch of bolognese, maybe tonight. I'm not sure. Um, I got some plain old Italian herb passata, some tomato paste and some diced tomatoes. I probably have a lot of this stuff in my, free, my pantry already, but I went and got groceries because I was out. So I didn't really take stock of what I had beforehand. Anyway, I know this is cheating. I don't care. I also have, let me open my fridge, which is a little bit of a mess. Um, I have fresh tomatoes from my mom's garden. So these will also be going in the pasta. Back to the food. So anyway, there will be a huge batch of bolognese being done for dinner for one meal. And then I will probably make at least six or seven other um, containers, which I'll put in my freezer for easy grab and goes because I live on my own. I can't be bothered. Enough said about that. Another pack because I will do a curried, um, like a beef mince and pineapple curry with some vegetables in it and put that on rice and freeze that as well. Um, I decided I wanted to have a burger night. So I got these, this pack of burgers. I will probably freeze to keep two out and have burgers two nights. So that's the plan with that. How interesting, right? I normally wouldn't make my own burgers, but I can't be bothered. Um, Pepsi Max because it's zero sugar and I have massive 
sweet tooth cravings all the time. Uh, bread rolls, I particularly like the big soft bread rolls. They make really good burgers. Um, strawberries, these were on sale as well. They're like $2 a punnet and they look really, really nice. So I got two punnets with one of them. I'm planning to chop up this, uh, chop up the strawberries and toss them with some baby spinach, grated carrot, some probably cheese, onion, um, the capsicum that I already have in my fridge and make like a salad with one of them. I bought some chocolate dipping sauce and that will be a straight up treat. Uh, free range eggs because eggs, easy go to breakfast. Salsa because I love anything Mexican. I don't have sour cream, I just realized to make quesadillas. Anyway, I was thinking I could make homemade tortillas or some, I've got some in my um, pantry that probably need used and make quesadillas, but I want sour cream. So, oh well, I'll get them another time. Carrots, because carrots. <laughs> Skittles, because I'm a child and I like Skittles. Penne pasta, because this stuff is 80 cents a bag and I'm a little bit of a hoarder of pasta. It lasts for years in your cupboard and after the whole COVID food shortages, I'm not fucking around to being left without pasta because I'm gonna do some big meal preps with pasta. I wanted to have plenty, I already have plenty of rice. Milk for protein shakes in the morning. Cleaning products. I didn't have any generic like disinfectant gel that I can mix to make like floor cleaner and stuff. And I love apple scent, so I grabbed this one. I've just been using bleach in my like spray and go mop, which Laura was horrified about, but it works. And some shower soap scum stuff. I wash my shower every time I'm in it. I just spray this on, lather myself up, rinse myself, and then rinse off the shower screen. It's pretty easy. I have a scrubber in there um, and I need some more stuff and I hate soap scum. I mean, why am I explaining this? Pretty self-explanatory. And tissues, because these were down to a dollar a box, which is half price for the aloe vera ones, because I have hay fever. Yay, let's put this away. Yes, did it. Okay, so. Um, I left these on the bench because I'm going to try and make myself cook spaghetti this afternoon. <laughs> I, need, I need prompting to be a grown up. So other than that, everything is away. And a life hack I found out. I had an empty one of these cubes. That is the Pepsi container. So I put away half of them in the fridge and half of them stashed down there. Very, very good. And for some reason, I'm showing you these storage boxes that are sitting in my office, ready made up. Um, I'm slowly going through and organizing my home. I'll tell you a bit about that in a second. I picked these up from my choice discount store, which is not far from my place, um, for an eventual overhaul of my wardrobe. This one's cool. It has like three compartments and you can unzip the front or the top. Exciting. <sighs> Back in my office and this is unflattering and I don't care. I've got the window wide open, the door wide open. So Chase can come and go, I've been working, I, I drink really slowly, am I the only one? So I um, got a Coke with dinner last night and this is as far as I got, so I figure I'll sit down and have that now with my first antibiotic. Lucky me! Um, and a pack of these wipes, I'm going to keep one in my office because I often sit here after work and take off my makeup. And there's one in my room <laughs> and I have a little border collie down beside me <laughs> wanting attention. Anyway, so... Let's have a little life catch up, shall we? I should do this when I'm looking better, but I'm not going to. So as a you all, a lot of you all will know, the last year and a half for me has very been very, very transformational. Um, in like June last year, I left an abusive domestic violence relationship and I was really, really scared about how I would manage um, on my own, basically, like being a grown up, being an adult. I found myself pretty quickly in a relationship with someone I already knew because we gamed together. He was a friend. Um, Brandon and I very quickly develop feelings for each other and I was like oh no here I am I'm like rebounding with some dude off the internet whatever this will be a harmless fling well turns out it's not he's the love of my life <laughs> he also lives in America so it's very very stressful um long distance is hard the thing that's making it really hard is 2020 kicking our asses because basically we can't travel back and forth every eight to ten weeks like we thought we'd be able to to see each other so i'm filming this on the 19th of august and i last saw him face to face and kissed him goodbye at the airport on the 2nd of uh, january thinking it was going to be for like maybe two months and you know eight months in here we are so that sucked um but also it is what it is like there's nothing we can do to change the world situation at the moment. We are um, going through the migration process to try and get him over here. It's stressful, it's difficult, it's killing us, um, but it is what it is. So we have an amazing migration agent who I need to touch base with probably tomorrow um, and just kind of track how things are going with another similar case she had, like another couple similar to us and see what happened with them. 
and we've been doing a lot of paperwork. Um, our friends and family have been writing statements um, and paperwork and everything just to kind of support our applications to get an exemption for him to fly here and, you know, do his weeks in quarantine and whatever. It's going to be a very, very expensive process, especially because of COVID. So it's been a hard year, honestly. Um, I don't know, like I thought 2019 was going to be the hardest yet and I ended it so happily. I ended it spending Christmas and New Year with my boyfriend um, who will be my future and it was all so happy and so so hopeful and then by kind of by the second week of January things have gone really pear-shaped for me if you watch my old vlogs or used to follow me on or have followed me on socials and everything you'll know I have uh, I'm a mum of two dogs uh, Chase my border collie who is currently outside my door and Ivy my German Shepherd and unfortunately I lost Ivy uh, on the 9th of January um, it was heartbreaking, it was cruel, um, there are circumstances that made it even more hurtful that I can't even talk about. She was only three years old, she was my baby girl, and honestly, like, day before yesterday, I woke up in the middle of the night crying um, and called Brandon on the way to work in tears because I'd dreamt about Ivy being awake and looking in my face. Like, it's been since then and I'm still not over it. I don't think you ever really get over it, they're a part of your life. We then had, you know, I don't know, I don't want to go into it, but it's just been a year of loss and stress um, that's impacted my family, my friends, um, you know, job loss, unemployment, um, illness, um, <clears throat> people, yeah, I don't know. Pretty much all the bad things that could happen have happened, not all to me, um, but to like people around me. Um, and through it all, I am so, so grateful, which seems weird, but I really am. Like I have this massive heart of gratitude for <coughs> my parents and my brothers and my sister-in-law that live near me and support me no matter what and have my back and make sure I'm not lonely. And if ever I'm just feeling lonely and scared and unsure or anxious about anything I can just drop a line and be like hey can I come for dinner actually what I tend to say is stop nagging me I'll come for dinner and mum goes oh okay um so I can just drop everything and be with my family whenever I just need to be with someone my best friend Laura and I um I think we've got way closer even through all of this we started talking on the phone which we'd never really done because we hadn't seen each other in the flesh for like like six months or something either because of all this stuff even though she only lives at the Gold Coast she finally came um, a couple of weeks ago and we hung out and she spent the weekend here and that was awesome but we like um, talk on the phone every week or sometimes a couple of times a week for like hours at a time and just talk shit and just encourage one another and it's amazing things are going really good in her life as well which makes me really happy um, my workplace has been great i mean work is work right like you don't want to work um you know you don't want to work which is why they have to pay you to do it work isn't fun but i'm lucky that i have a workplace where i knew throughout all of this that my job was safe that i was supported they really like had it had our backs and helped us be as safe through all this covid crap as possible i'm saying it like it's past tense like this pandemic is far from over but it's so weird. I remember in March um, freaking out about the pandemic and like how we would cope and what the future was going to hold and thinking by like June it'll be all better and now it's like August and we're far from better. We're having like a second wave. That's in this country. Things got better in this country and then are getting worse again in other countries. It's never gotten better. It's just frightening honestly. I remember as part of my training for work, I work in emergency services, if you didn't know that, we were told that when people are screaming in grief or fear or panic or whatever and having absolute friggin' emotional meltdowns, they can only maintain that for so long before the body just exhausts itself and they calm down and begin to just function and see clearly. I feel like that's a little bit how I've handled this pandemic. At the start, I was freaking out over everything. I was so anxious, I was so scared. Um, and now I'm just kind of like, eh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just frustrated. I'm just frustrated we're still going through all of this. I'm frustrated I haven't been able to wrap my arms around my boyfriend for, you know, most of the year at this point. I don't know. I'm frustrated with all those people who have suffered, like, loss. I'm so lucky. 
I had a little bit of a hit when I lost my Facebook accounts. So long story short, and you can read into it what you will, those that need to know, know, but someone hacked my Facebook and got me banned and uh, lost all my accounts, meaning <laughs> Chase is chasing a bitch. Get a birdie, Chasey. He's like, I didn't get it, but I barked at it. Back did it good and he's sniffing and there's his bed by the door. He likes it when I leave the door open so he can just come and go on me a wild beastie. Cute. Anyway, so I am Facebook free, which is kind of trash. So I may as well be more YouTube active, right? Given that I can't be on Facebook. Anyway, one thing I am doing like every single freaking day is planning. Still using my Erin Condren vertical. I'm so torn because I know that everyone has like cancelled Erin Condren as a brand, but I just love the planner. This kit is one I was holding for ages. It's actually a Valentine's Day kit from Oh Hello Michelle, and I've literally had it sitting in my kit binder for I don't know two years. So I decided to actually use it. So that is what I'm planning this week. I've kind of mapped out the big parts and then everything else I'm filling in as I go. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just on top of everything. I'm just doing little bits. I'm spending like 10 to 20 minutes a day just doing little chores, um, scheduling big chores um, for myself throughout the week. And um, everything, I'm just on top of everything. It feels really good for a change. I bought myself a new fancy vacuum cleaner. I vacuumed these carpets like three days ago. What do you have to say? Yeah, okay. <sighs> My life. I just checked out these wipes. Removes makeup, dirt, oil, and bee terrier. Bee terrier. Thank God, I don't want to get bee terrier. In between playing games with Brandon, I've been a very busy girl. So I didn't do quite enough rice to make seven meals, but I will freeze the rest of this. So this is a pineapple. Um, this is like minced beef or ground beef if you're in the US. Um, cooked with um, like curry, um, pineapple juice, canned um, like crushed pineapple um, and some vegetables. So it's like a beef curry and pineapple curry, which will be on that rice. For my freezer, the rice got horribly sticky, which is a pain in the butt. And this is my big all pot, oh yeah, bolognese spaghetti sauce. So I'm going to do a big pot of pasta and do more containers, um, more of these containers of spaghetti for my freezer. And that will be dinner tonight. This, if I have leftover, which I definitely should, I may actually put in some like pies. I've got some pie um, cases and pastry. Yeah, and my kitchen isn't too much of a disaster considering. I've been trying to clean as I go, so the the aim is just to not be filthy. You know, that's the aim. This guy thinks he's starving. You are not starving. You are not. <laughs> cooked may not fit in my freezer in the garage anymore it's pretty packed <sighs> mainly with like raw meat and um a whole bunch of you foods meals i didn't get around to eating and i'm out of breath because i'm standing and my back is killing me <sighs> okay i'm gonna let the bolognese keep going i'm gonna seriously let that simmer for like hours and i'm not ready for dinner yet so that'll be a later for dinner i have this much of the curry beef left over i'm gonna put that in the fridge I may turn that into some little mince pies, I don't know, on the weekend or something. Okay, kettle is boiling for hot water. I'm doing a bag and a half of pasta in this big stock pot. Um, we'll see how many meals it makes. Chase's kibble and he's getting some beef mince for a special addition to his dinner. Yeah, come here, sit, wait. 
Uh uh, sit. Sit. Chase, sit. Sit. What the heck, man? Okay, good boy. Right, I've written these because I know I'll have at least six dishes. This, by the way, is I keep leaving this here rather than putting it away in the laundry because I need to get one of those command hook things for the wall where you can like snap in the handle so it'll hang. I need one of them for like my mop, my little spray and push mop and that and like my broom and stuff. So I'm leaving it on the bench until I get those so that I don't just put it in the laundry and throw it wherever it'll fit. So I put it in its home. It doesn't have a home yet. This is an outdoor table. I um, <laughs> have this inside because I don't have an indoor dining table. I love this for outside. I hate this for in the house. Also, I need to put away my vacuum, but I'm vacuuming my carpet tomorrow, so let's just pretend it's not there. Look at that hair. Do we see this? Seriously? I vacuumed and mopped these tiles last night. Kill me. Okay, this table is inside because my butthead ex would always say, we're not buying a dining table for like a house we don't own because I'm renting this place. Um, and so he would never like let me buy a dining table. He's like, we'd never sit at it, whatever. And I'm like, like my boyfriend and I, we love, um, like when he was here, we loved, like we had my brother and sister-in-law to play video, uh, play board games and stuff. We like sitting and having like a romantic meal at the table and lighting a candle. So like we need an indoor table. This one originally got bought inside because uh, Sophie, who was my German shepherd I lost years ago, like four years ago now, used to do this, insert picture. She thought it was her frame, uh, her, she thought it was her royal throne and she would sit on it and sunbathe all day every day and we couldn't get her to stay off it. So we bought it inside to not destroy it um, and here it has remained and I hate it. And because of the kind of wood, it like, if anything gets on it, it like gets these kind of weathered marks that you can't get out. I mean, which is okay because it's an outdoor table, but it's inside, I hate it. Let's stop talking about it. So I'm just gonna have a breather while I wait for my pasta to cook. I've already put away the rice cooker and everything. I hate clutter on my bench. And now that it is like pretty good, I'm intending on keeping it that way. Anyway, so I'm waiting for the pasta to cook so I can get the bolognese meals um, put together and put them in the freezer. I have the freezer, um, like ooh, <laughs> two large drawers in that freezer. Um, they're pretty full. One of them has like four loaves of bread in the bottom, the bottom one, because uh, bread was kind of a pain in the ass to get your hands on during the whole, um, we're never going to be able to leave the house again. And we're all hoarding grocery era. I didn't hoard like crazy, but I realized how little basics I kind of had in my house. So now I have a decent supply of flour, um, sugar, like basic baking things, <coughs> um, tin tomatoes, tin beans, uh, frozen like chicken and beef mints and some steaks, uh, bread. I mean, you can, yes, you can bake bread, whatever. You can just buy them for like 75 cents a loaf when they're on sale at Aldi and put them in the freezer and have PB and J's. I'm happy with that. Pasta, rice, the basics, you get it. We were all in the same boat. Which reminds me, um, I need to get curry powder. Maybe putting it in the vlog where I need to edit this will remind me, get curry powder, you use the last of it. Good. Pretty good supply of the basics now, but what I like to do is cook a heap of individual meals, which I have in my freezer. And mainly these come in handy for work. Um, because I have like a little insulated like cloth lunch baggy thing and in the morning I will straight up as I am going to my car just stop at the freezer pull out a meal in one of these containers which is still frozen and um, just nuke it at you know halfway through my shift at work when it's my lunch break and boom I have like a hot lunch. I think Chase has found a single piece of uncooked pasta because I can hear him crunching and I think I might have dropped it on the floor. Enjoy bud, enjoy. He just finished his like beef. Anyway, in between my cooking adventures, after I got the bolognese started, I played some Seven Days to Die with Brandon. It's a zombie game. He loves it. I don't, really don't love it, but I love him. I love you, Brandon, if you're watching. So I'm playing the stupid game because I want to spend time together. Although I don't know if it's good spending time together because I am complaining about it a fair bit because I don't like it. And when I don't like something, I don't keep it a secret. I'm going to get one of the bread rolls that I bought for burgers and slice it, make a little homemade garlic butter and make a like little mini cheesy garlic bread loaf, which I'm cooking my air fryer because um, the air fryer just saves turning on the whole oven. And that will be dinner, garlic bread, pasta, can of Pepsi Max, a couple episodes of Suits. Sounds like a perfect night, honestly. Okay, so that made nine bolognese meals, bolognese pasta and cheese and have all of this leftover. So that'll be dinner tonight plus 
extra for chili plus just extra bolognese which I'll freeze yay Whew, dinner at my desk because I can't be bothered um sitting on the couch I don't know why pasta and I kind of it got a bit crispy right on the top in the air fryer but cheesy garlic bread yum and that is my night perfect morning I have some toast toasting and I'm using my little microwave egg poacher how satisfying the first scrape of butter oh yeah to work and I'm calling this look minimum human no makeup because can't be bothered um I had a shower before I went to bed last night I woke up I've washed my face brushed my teeth put my hair up I ate breakfast I took my antibiotics um I took some cold and flu daytime tablets I actually took nighttime tablets last night and it's the first night in a while I haven't woken up really congested it's just because of um hay fever because it's kind of the change of seasons at the moment 11 p.m thoughts I really like how British people say the word yogurt. You know how they say yogurt. I like how they say yogurt. It sounds so fancy. I'm a little overtired and kind of delirious. I was like, and I've been poking at, I've like deep exfoliated my forehead because I was having all these little like white heads and they're driving me crazy. So now I have a really red forehead, so it's fun. Um, today it was uh, fun. Training at work was good. And then we went to, um, we did like 10, 10 pin bowling. I didn't do 10 pin bowling because I've had a sore back and I don't want to aggravate it. I did go into an escape room. It was serial killer themed and we started it handcuffed to a concrete floor of the room in pitch dark. It was pretty intense and it was really fun and I sucked. I'm going to play some of my like little, oh, I have this game I'm obsessed with on my iPad called Block Doku. <laughs> it's like Tetris basically and I'm really obsessed with it and it helps me clear my head. So given that I spent some of today like, you know, uh, finding keys to handcuffs and crawling through the dark and looking for clues on fake severed hands and um, having to get into a coffin and all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to clear my head of all kind of weird negative thoughts. Oh, hi there. I have just returned from getting a COVID test. This is my cute little mask. Um, Boohoo, by the way. Um, you have to mask up when you go for a test, so I just wear mine in there anyway. And now my nose is super runny and angry because my sinuses are really mad about having something jammed all the way in there to take swabs. So if you haven't had it done, it's a swab in both nostrils way up high into the sinuses and a swab at the back of your throat. Um, lucky I have a pretty good gag reflex. <laughs> so, um, you know, I don't want to vomit on the guy, but the nose one's really, really hurt. It's horrible. I don't know, this time wasn't as bad as my second one. The second one was the worst for me. I have had COVID tests three times. So I've had two negative results already. This is like over the last, what, like four months now. Um, so it's not like I'm going in there every week, although apparently they do have some people that are literally being tested weekly. <sighs> I'm having a very lazy day. My little buddy back there. Um, I'm just playing games with Brandon. It's starting to get kind of dark. Put some lights on. Um, I'm feeling rubbish. I'm just grabbing my water bottle, some thinly diluted cordial. And I am going to, oh, okay, so this, this situation. The biggest Huntsman spider of my life was in my house two days ago. So it was actually through there. Um, and see this cornice? Its legs spanned either side of the cornice. I freaked out and I didn't have any bug spray. <laughs> I went to grab this, which has a nozzle thing that's missing. And I do not do spiders. So I sucked it into my vacuum cleaner. And somewhere inside the bag of that vacuum cleaner, it's a really, really strong powered vacuum cleaner. It like spins stuff. So I don't think there's any way it's alive. Even still, I'm leaving it a few days, so it can't possibly be alive. Anyway, um, I'm feeling really crappy. So I've just been playing games backwards and spy on the little dude. Hi, buddy. Hi. 
Hi. I'm just playing some GTA with Brandon and I'm um, gonna drink some water. And also this is a project the other day. Put some photos in the wall, I'll show you, hang on. I don't have much in the way of like art or anything in this house. Not that this is really art, but like I walk through this archway like every single day, time and time again, decided to put some photos. So my family at my brother and sister-in-law's wedding, me on the left. Um, my brother and sister-in-law who I love, me and my boyfriend and me and Chase. So I finally have some family photos on the wall. Anyway, not only am I feeling super fluey, um, no COVID result yet, by the way, but I'm hoping soon. Um, I'm also, I have an incredibly upset stomach. I'm feeling crappy. So I'm sitting here with a blanket on my lap, curled up, saline spraying my nose as often as I can. It's like power washing for your nose. I'm gonna drink some water. I'm craving salad. Like, you know how sometimes you're like, oh, I really feel like da da da, because it's been so long since I had it. My thing is, I feel like salad. Or just like some vegetables, like some roasted veggies. So I'm craving good food because I haven't had any in a while. It's so bad. And my shirt all pulled up because I'm hiding from the world. I'm in my bed because I was going to go sit on the couch in the living room and um, draw some stickers. I've got all kinds of crap on my bedside table at the moment, but my iPad Pro there <coughs> is almost out of battery. So I'm a little limited. And I've got a buddy. Hi, can you keep your mama company? Are you the goodest boy? Yeah. And yes, I have a teddy bear on Brandon's side of the bed because he bought it for me and we miss him, don't we? Yeah, we do. Good morning. I think they actually have an egg. But I don't want to check because I don't want to scare her, but she's been up there like pretty much the last two days straight. I can tell you that I look how I feel, so pray for me firstly can you please stop shedding uh, that's it what do i do so i'm with chase <laughs> you're a good boy thank goodness for undo if you haven't used this and you're a planner get some you can get it from bunnings i'm almost out you pour a little bit out of the nozzle into this little tray and then use it to um pour it on stickers for instance, these ones I've just pulled up from here. You pour it on stickers and then use a little slider to remove them. And once they're dry, the back will be sticky again and you can reuse them. Because I'm going through my planner. This is my week's spread, by the way. And I realized that, um, see, the page is just drying there. It'll dry fully. I realized that I had massage appointment and my lawn being mowed down for Thursday, but they are both Friday appointments. So anyway. Okay, so, and the stickers now are perfectly tacky and usable again. So that stuff is lifesaver. This is what it looks like. Undo, get it at Bunnings. I need to go and get more at some point. Um, <coughs> anyway, it's now Thursday morning. Excuse the cough. I do have the flu. COVID test came back and it was not COVID. It is the flu. However, this morning I'm feeling much better. Yesterday was pretty much a day of nothing. I played GTA most of the day watched YouTube and that was about it and I did have a 40% discount flash sale in the store so if you don't follow me on Instagram you wouldn't have known about it um there was a trickle of orders come through which is good I didn't want to be totally overwhelmed um today being Thursday I yeah I thought I had those appointments my remedial massage and my mowing but um they're both Friday appointments I was looking at it going that's not right and it isn't um so anywho um I hit the ground running today. It is 7.11 a.m. I woke up at 5.30 just because that's when I woke up and um, decided to like hit the ground running and get some stuff done because I've been a bit lazy the last few days not feeling well. I decided to have a productive start to the day since I was up early. So I uh, emptied the dishwasher and put all of those things away. I wiped down all my cabinets in my kitchen and all my benches. I had a little um, cluttered area of my kitchen, so right on the wall where the window is. You may have seen it in my cooking segments. There was um, a cookbook stand, a wooden kind of fold out cookbook stand, and um, a couple of cookbooks and a couple of recipe cards and some random crap behind that, like um, a power board and all that kind of stuff that I wasn't using. 
and some old chargers from cameras like two camera battery chargers from cameras that I literally haven't used in years. It was kind of this little forgotten corner of the kitchen that I'm always like, I eh, don't worry about that. Anyway, I worried about it. I, I um, threw out everything I didn't need anymore, which is pretty much everything. Um, I found a couple packs of batteries that apparently I bought and put there. That's always helpful. So they are now in my battery drawer in my office. Um, I just scrubbed that down and got it clean and it is no longer cluttered. Now that corner has my recipe book stand, which is empty. The recipe books are on the shelf until I need them. My um, kettle and my little um, neutral bullet blender thing. And that's it. I got all my laundry out of the hamper because it was finally full. I don't do laundry until I have a full load and then I just do wash and put away the full load. I'm in the washing machine now. I'll throw them in the dryer because I can't be if hanging them out, honestly. <laughs> And also it's kind of chilly and cold and I just don't want to. Um, I have an office works order coming, which I'm uber, uber excited about. <clears throat> I had to order, um, I went to print and cut stickers. You can see some um, pages sitting on my printer. I went to print and cut some stickers yesterday um, in the evening and realized I was completely out of black ink. So I ordered some replacement ink. And while I was on the office works website, I was like, hmm, what else do you sell at Magical Office Works? And I had this deluded idea that I am going to paint. I don't know why I thought I can paint specifically watercolors. Shrug. Anyway, do you remember those art kits that you would get as a kid? Like insert a picture here. These we would get like at Christmas from our parents or from Santa or whatever. And these, um, I think we call them art studios. Yeah, that's what we call them as kids. They were our favorite freaking thing ever always ended up like breaking one of the crayons or pastels or whatever losing some of the markers i think the markers were the most used thing in there making absolute mess of the paints like they're of total crap quality but so much fun as a kid we absolutely loved these anyway i have found the adult equivalent i think on officeworks i don't know what the quality is going to be like but i like the look of it i like that it's in a box so i can like fold it all back up and put it away and um yeah, I'm excited about it. So now looking at making a purchase from Kmart, I want to organize my linen closet. Anyway, before I impulsively checked out and bought $100 of containers, I thought I would um, measure and make sure they'll actually fit in the space I want them in. Um, I have the same size, like height shelving in my linen closet as I do to my closet in the laundry. Um, and I also have a um, shelving unit. I used to have my Cameo cutting machines on in my old office, which I'm going to move out into the garage. And I'm thinking again, that would be a great place to store things. To just have a big old, nice sealed, like storage container with a vinyl on it saying like power cords or like gardening shit or whatever. Anyway, I just want to organize because I want to organize. Okay, I want to organize. Get off my back. I'm trying to be an adult. Just let me be an adult. Oh, I had to search all over my house trying to find a tape measure. I found this one. Um, so drop to drop of my cupboards is 28 centimeters and these are 24 centimeters high so perfect I will check out on those um I also while I was digging around found some other stuff I located not that they're really lost but I haven't looked at them in a long time um my old planners the cover on this has completely faded I can't remember where I ordered this from but it's been in the sun and uh this one is still in good nick this one is from the anxious planner this is Merry Christmas you filthy animal planner cover no covered in dust I also found my little album with my um like rose gold stickers which I didn't realize I had a stash of but guess who's doing a rose gold spread next week now and some old when I say old I mean old there's me as a baby with chicken so prophetic really um photos they're all me eating me with a chocolate egg me covered in spaghetti me not eating, but with food all over my face. Oh dear. When I'm not eating, I'm drinking. So that's frightening. I have to call Brandon, he'll get a kick out of looking at those. All right. Yes, I'm excited about these storage containers. And while I'm at it, I'm ordering, I'm adding to the order a retractable measuring tape because why don't I have one of them in my life? Okay, I made an unnecessarily large order with Kmart. Um, do you like my little dress? It's from Boohoo. Not that you can really see it, but it's camo, obviously. Um, camo is Brandon's favourite colour, and uh, I have caught it from him. I now really wear a lot of camo. 
I don't know why. I actually have uh, included a camo dog collar in this order because um, we are looking at getting a puppy when he's here. So oh, it's a while off, obviously. We've got to get him in the country first. Um, and then, I don't know, there'll be a settling in period before we get a puppy. But a puppy is definitely on the list. But yeah, I bought our future dog a um, collar already. The dog's already been named. We've picked out the breed. We know exactly what we're going with. I won't tell you because, I don't know, in some time in the future you will find out. Who knows how far away that'll be. Also got a essential oil carrier box, like a wooden box made to fit essential oils. I don't have many essential oils. I only have like four or five, um, but they're just sitting. I'm looking like, okay, my desk is an absolute disaster, but they're just sitting in this like old Bella box container and this... Wow, I don't know what way to point. Okay, that little, um, there, there we go, postage bag. That has little um, rollables in it um, for when I make blends. I normally make blends specifically, oh, I have one right here to show you. This one says relax. I don't even know what's in it. Okay, it's lavender and mint, basically is what I do for all of them. I have peppermint, lavender, a little bit of citrus, um, either lemon or lime. In, or orange in mine and I love these they help me relax and they also help me get rid of migraines I don't know I'm just I'm sick and tired of clutter I just want everything to have a place it shouldn't be so hard good morning um it's Friday I could sleep all day but I shouldn't so I'm up and kind of dressed and just gonna try and have a productive morning. here's my little corner of the kitchen that was a dumping ground it is now clean and clutter free and yes I have cotton buds there and no I, I should put them away. Um, I need to sort out this little corner. This is like a little trinket jar where I put like my rings when I'm um, cooking and stuff. This bow tie goes on Chase's collar. Um, this corner, this is all the practical stuff you need. So it's staying as is and I just saw some crumbs from when I cooked. Great. Anyway, plan for the day is in a couple of hours I have a massage and you see Chase out there booked. I am sitting down to paint. This is what I got from Officeworks. Um, I'm overexcited about it. There we go. Look how fancy. I mean, probably not. It's probably crap. So this is the set I bought with all the stuff you need for watercolor. It came with some papers, but I bought some as well. Um, I'm overexcited to give this a go. It's probably going to be a disaster. So anyway, I watched some tutorials about how to like set up your space. So I have two cups, one for clean water and one for washing brushes, just with water. Um, you're supposed to use old jars, but I don't have any, so drinking glasses. This is what I'm drinking. And I have an old, completely used up, needs to be thrown out cutting mat to kind of tape down one of these watercolor papers to... Um, and I figured just this will mean it's portable and not gonna ruin my table. Not that I really give a shit about this table, but anyway. Oh, mama bird has just flown away of her own volition for a second. And I'm, there's two eggies. Oh, we're gonna be parents, guys. Oh no, they're gonna be really annoying. And here is where I cut off the vlog. So it is Monday, like almost three in the afternoon. I'm on night shifts at the moment, so I am. Um, Woke up, made myself, washed my hair as much as I hate doing it. Why do I hate washing my hair? It doesn't really take that long. I don't know why I'm such a diva about it. Um, I feel like I'm molting so much I should be bald. <coughs> Excuse me. It's going to be a paperwork kind of afternoon. I've got to put together some documents for Brandon's visa applications. And then um, I think I'm just going to chill, maybe play some games. All up, I got uh, about seven hours of sleep, which is fine like that's enough to keep me going on night shifts i honestly love to sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep on night shifts because you need it doesn't matter how much you sleep your body doesn't like being awake at 4 a.m so i'll cope um anyway thanks for watching um i have lots of kmart deliveries coming lots of organizing projects coming up so i will probably be filming after this um you know for another vlog so i guess keep an eye out for that um i will go ahead and publish this one because it's almost done editing and See you with the next part. Okay, bye. It won't go away. I've got that feeling rushing through my body. I know that it is here to stay. It's like you're my personal Illuminati. I know that some might say that I am just.
just a bad girl, but if you treat me 